All right, some students had some questions about this lab. How do RL circuits work? And uh, as the manual says, you have to follow manual. You have to consider two different circuits. This one, number one, has two physical elements connected the resistor and the inductor the property of the resistor is provide the resistance the property of the inductor is provide the resistance and inductance and that affects electric current traveling through these elements how does it affect it well it is related to r big r and inductance because well, <coughs> Ohm's law and Faraday's law. For example, Faraday's law says that when electric current changes, the inductor starts acting like a battery. It induces an additional EMF. And uh, the total resistance for this circuit should be equal to the sum of external and internal resistances. But when the switch is getting closed, we've got now three elements connected. The battery, the source of EMF, the resistor, the source of resistance, and the inductor, the source of resistance and inductance. And how are they connected? Now it's in parallel. And because, again, this electric current, if changes, induces EMF, basically we just have a circuit with two batteries. Battery number one, which is constant. Then we've got a resistor. Then we've got another resistor. And we've got another battery. These are related. They're connected in series, but this whole device is connected in parallel to this device and the, to this device. And that makes things different from the previous circuit. Of course, there is electric current traveling through this resistor. And of course, uh, well, that electric current is related to the resistance and the voltage across this resistor by the Ohm's law but it doesn't affect the current through the inductor. For example, I can increase this resistor that would decrease this electric current, but this electric current wouldn't be affected at all. This electric current through the battery, total one, of course, changes if we change the big R resistance, but the electric current through the inductor is not being affected by the value of external resistance R. So it's related only to the internal resistance and inductance, period. Now we can go to the video. Of course, we need the video number nine. And uh, if you didn't read the manual and you use the wrong video, you lose some points, so if we watch the video, the first circuit is actually when the switch is closed. Closed the switch. So in this situation, the external resistance doesn't affect the current through the inductor. And uh, the maximum voltage is reached pretty quickly. And it will be equal to what? Well, we can count these uh, small units of scale. And we can see we have nine of those units, but each unit is equal to four volt divided by 10. So maximum voltage is 3.6 volts. This is not the maximum current yet. The current is keep changing until it stops changing so 
this is the maximum current and that is well 100 40 milliamps or 0.14 amps so now we can calculate the internal resistance because it has to be equal to <coughs> maximum voltage over maximum current and that's going to be about 25 point something ohms do the math and this one for the trial number nine is about 27 ohms and uh, when the switch is open the current decreases back to zero two different situations two different circuits two different equations two different analysis so you have to derive two different linearizations for the circuit number one uh, so i over I max and I want to subtract it from one to get this first and now I take a natural log of that and I want to solve it for time and that gives me tau times negative one times natural log of one minus I over I max by the way when you use this equation you can use milliamps and milliamps or amps and amps but if you uh, mix them up you get the wrong numbers why do I like it this way because if I set x to be equal to this whole thing I've got a very simple easy to analyze linearization equation and I can plot the graph for the time as a function of s there is no law that time must be always on the horizontal axis and the, in this case this slope which is given in pivot by capital A will be equal to time constant in seconds immediately because X has no unit it's unitless and for the second circuit the linearization is even simpler so we get uh, time equals tau times negative one natural log of i over i max so of course this is a natural choice for the linearization variable now and uh, well now this slope again will be equal to time constant in seconds but the relationship between time constant inductance and the resistance will be slightly different time constant will be equal to inductance divided by well in the first circuit only internal resistance matters and time constant will be equal to inductance over total resistance when the, the current is decreasing back to zero so <clears throat> that's all we need to know then you go to the external resistance you go to data you take data time current you need to enter an additional for your linearization and it has to be unitless and your equation depends on your case so for example first time you have to enter a negative natural long one minus current divided by 
IMAX, let's say I use milliamps second, uh, I could write 140 in milliamps, parenthesis, parenthesis, done. And uh, if you do it right, and you, if you use my suggestion for the axes, you get straight line as a result of your linear fit with the slope that gives you time constant. And the same procedure where is it? The same procedure technologies why no one can make good technologies for education the same procedure goes for another case and then you calculate the inductance and of course the inductance number one should be pretty close to inductance number two because it's an inductance of the same inductor of the same device and uh, in the last part well, of course, you should expect that it shouldn't be my, much affected by anything because it's an internal property. And uh, if you read carefully the second question, it says possible pattern. You see. So it means wherever you see is the answer, even if you don't see anything. And now we are done.